Hey guys, welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter game accessory review. Today's accessory is by Transforming Designs and it is the Game Anywhere table. The Game Anywhere table was given to me as a review material, so just a little expl explanatory thing right there. But the Game Anywhere table I got was the 4x4. Now there's a couple different options you can choose. I think there's the 4x4 and a 6x4, as well as the newest one, the M something something. But the Game Anywhere table is a very, very interesting little table that you can actually carry around and take wherever you'd like to play either at your house inside your house outside or at a friend's house or even like a coffee shop the idea of the game anywhere table is it's got a full-on black little case that you can put over it as well as inside there is a table that is metal with uh different uh the what do you call it? speed cloth, I should say, on the top. And it also comes with different uh, other tops that you can have. Mine specifically has the speed cloth. It is silver, and it has the metal bearings, all, all that kind of stuff, as well as a bunch of different things like card holders and whatnot. In the Game Anywhere table, you'll go ahead and see over here on my left-hand side that it is a fairly heavy table. It's about 60 pounds just for the 4x4, the one I have. And you can carry it pretty much anywhere because you have a, t a strap as well as a holding thing. And basically, when you uh, take it apart, you're going to be undoing the, just the little case here and pulling out the table and then you're going to set it up. Now setting up the table is not very difficult at all actually. You're just going to go ahead and pull it out and you're going to start pulling the little legs apart and putting the additional leggings in. It actually has little brackets so you can attach the longer legs to it so that it feels more like a coffee table. Uh, also on the bottom end is going to be these different little metal prongs that you can go and attach to different parts of it depending on how you're setting it up or if you're putting it away so that it kind of securely locks the table into place. Really nice aspects of the table locking that thing into place. Also flipping it over, undoing the parts of the table, there's four different separate player areas on the table where you're going to pull out. So normally when it looks like a four by two table, you'd think it's a fairly small table, but adding those four player areas uh, to the table, it increases the size by a lot. And you're actually able to pull them apart and then all the accessories you can place on top of those player boards because the player boards are magnetic, which is really, really cool. So all the accessories have the little magnetic droplets or little little like screws in there that when you stick it onto the felt mat the speed cloth you're able to keep it steady and it doesn't move anywhere there's different things you can get cup holders you can get uh card slots and card shoots you can get card holders there's two different types of holders the smaller ones and the larger ones there's also cup holders on the side of the table on the side of the table the cup holders kind of pull out and there's four of them two on one side two on the other and you're able to also move and maneuver the player boards however you'd like it also comes with play spacers that kind of block off so that you have your own unique little area which I really really enjoy I like that aspect of the table a lot that's probably my favorite part is having my own specific area I don't know what it is about me but I just like to have my own space when it comes to playing on a tabletop I also like the fact that you're not gonna have to put drinks on the table the cup holders are sturdy enough to where they can hold pretty much anything you want on the cup holders without breaking them I've seen a couple other reviews where somebody's pulling on them and it does snap the uh, the cup holders so I wouldn't I wouldn't go ahead and put any more than like maybe five pounds or so of pressure on that thing. Specifically, what kind of drink is going to hold more than that anyway? But I did have a huge thing of tea on it just to test it out, and it worked just great. Also, there is enough space to where we were playing any type, different types of games. I specifically have Roadhog on the table, which is going to show you that there's actually enough to probably play two of this specific game, and most medium games you can play two of. Whereas a larger game, you can easily fit it on this table. However, anything more than Twilight Imperium is going to probably be too big. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother putting all the expansions of Battlestar Galactica or all the expansions of something like Talisman on the table. It's going to be really, really snug, but otherwise very, very good fit. I'm sure the larger tables, the 6x4 and even the new one that's coming out, are going to be just fine putting anything you want on it. However, they get heavier as it goes along. Hopefully the newer newer table, which I have not seen or tested in any way, is, is a lot lighter and does have all the unique features uh, that I, I like to see on it. But this one specifically fits pretty much any game you want on it. And as you can see on the cloth, it does let you roll really nicely. The dice feel really great when rolling on the cloth. They don't go too crazy or anywhere, any, anything crazy, but you could also use those little dice shoots where you're throwing the dice in the little shoot, and it does stay there. They're, they're fairly nice, really easy to use and maneuver around with. Um, 
as for the games excel themselves, you're not going to be able to move the boards very hard. You know, it's really it, it does hold the game very steadily in place. So you're not going to be having a lot of slippage or any of those issues at all. This is definitely a gamer's table. You're going to be able to position the games however you want on the table, and then once they're there, they're pretty much stuck there, which is really really nice, specifically for games that tend to move around a lot. And I did test it out with playing games like Flick 'em Up, other dexterity games where you're flicking things across the table and whatnot, and it still worked just fine. I didn't have any issues doing that at all so that's great putting the table back together is really nice as well very simple to do simply folding both sides of the player boards pulling out these little uh the little metal things and switching the sides and placing all of the uh all of the different uh, player uh, things you can get. And there's tons of different accessories you can get for the table. And putting them back on the bottom side of the table, you can pick and choose which ones you want to use and which ones you don't want to use. So that is a really nice aspect as well. In fact, there's so much additional space to this thing that you can actually go ahead and put uh, almost all the things in one player area, maybe maybe one and a half player area. So you have an extra two to use. I specifically had the large player card holders. I had four of those. I had the four smaller ones, and I had four of the shoots or the little. Um, you can, I usually use tokens in it, but you can also roll dice in there as well. All of that stuff, and it was just fine. Worked great. Uh, and you just put them up, and it puts together fairly easily. You know, uh, for me specifically, I have a pretty bad back, so I wouldn't be carrying this thing too far. But luckily, it doesn't need to go very far. It goes. From from your house to your car, from your car to your friend's house, something like that. Maybe carrying it maybe 50 to 100 feet is not too bad at 60 pounds. Any more than that, and I wouldn't recommend it. I would also never carry this thing up a flight of steps personally, but if you're a little more able-bodied, I don't think it would be too big of an issue. Nevertheless, so let me go ahead and tell you what I think about all the different aspects of the table. You kind of get an idea by seeing the videos here what the table looks like, how easy it is to put together and take apart. I'll tell you my personal preferences to the table, what I think is good, what I think is bad uh, right now. So what do I think about the Game Anywhere table? Now for this specific review, it's just going to be for the 4x4, which is the one I currently have. There's three different options, and I'll talk about the third one in a little bit, just because I find it interesting. I think you guys should be noted about it, because the Kickstarter is going on right now. So do take it on, take, take, take this, take my opinion with a grain of salt, because yes, I got the table, and also I'm really into these type of tables. I've always wanted one, so now that I have one, I'm very excited. However, the Game Table, like I said, the main thing for me was it was heavy. It was heavy for me, and I just can't be carrying it around too much because, honestly, my back doesn't work very well. So carrying it more than about 30 feet for me is going to be too much. Uh, but like I said, if you're able-bodied or you got two people helping you around, it's, it's not going to be too big of a deal. Uh, putting it together took me about three minutes. Taking it apart takes about the same amount of time. It's not a very long time to put a table together, so that's not too bad. Uh, the parts do not feel flimsy or cheap or like they were going to break on me at any point in time. They had additional uh, things that, like they had like metal brackets that you could actually put into the table to make sure that it didn't move. But for the most part, it was not a big deal. If you saw the video, the ground I have was actually just pavers, so some of them were not as they were a little lopsided. So the table's not lopsided; it was actually my ground, just in case you noticed that. Uh, the top of the table is really nice speed cloth, and I really like that. That was my second favorite thing. The first, my first favorite thing is the player areas, which I found e excellent. I wish the entire table was magnetized, and I know that they do offer that, but mine is not. However, I think if you're gonna get it, you should have it all magnetized because it's just worth it. I like being able to have all this. It's, it sticks and its positions great. The magnets are solid. They stay. You're not gonna need to worry about the pieces moving or anything like that. The cards stay in the holders. The holders are great. All the components are solid. I mean, I really, really like them. I don't think there's an issue with them at all. I don't think you could break them, even if you threw them across the floor. Um, the cup holders are, are fairly good. I would consider them to be maybe a 6 or 7 out of 10 as far as working. They kind of a little jiggly when you're pulling them out. But like I said, the amount of weight you're going to be putting on them is just fine. Like, they're, they're cups, so I, unless you're putting like a gallon of milk on there or two gallons of milk, then I don't think you're really going to need to worry about it all that much. You can also use them for other things. Sometimes I would use them for like different pieces of uh, like meeples and all that kind of stuff. I did use that on the occasion. But mainly for drinks, it works great. I wouldn't recommend spilling anything on this table. I don't know if it stains or not, and I'm not going to find out. So it may or may not. I wouldn't uh, test that with uh, Coke or anything like that. So be aware of that. The com the components in the bottom, all the different metal pieces, putting them in, the uh, little table slots of it to make it taller is really nice. I was really worried originally about the table being too low to the ground when I first saw it, but it is fairly large. It's about the same height as this table here, and it is about just it's just just as sturdy as well. Especially when you have all the metal in there, it keeps it really tight and really locked down in place. 
Um, the the 6x4 I thought would be really cool because in the 4x4 it's mainly for four players. You can squish a couple more people in really realistically, but the cup holders then become a little useless. Also, there's only two sides of the table that have that like dice wall. I think uh, it would be a good idea, preferably if you have the entire thing magnetized to get extra player things. That way when you roll dice, if you want to use little cups as meeple holders or whatever, it's going to make the dice not roll off the table. I haven't had that happen, but I imagine it could if people are dice frantic. I don't usually throw dice really far or anything like that. I'm one of the very few people in my group that doesn't manage to do that, so I don't worry about that all that much. Uh, the table price. Some of these guys are, can be pretty expensive. Now, Obviously, there are a lot more expensive tables out there, and most of those tables, once they are put into a certain location, they do not move. So that being said, you you might say it's too expensive for you, and if you if you do find that to be the case, I would not suggest buying a table that you cannot afford. Obviously, go ahead and get something from Target or from Walmart. They have tables there for like 40 to 50 bucks, and they're, they're okay, they're tables, you know, whatever. Uh, but if you do want something a little classy, a little more um, gamer-like with the speed cloth, with all the different components like that, this is definitely a good table to get. I do really like it, and I have been using it quite a bit. In fact, it's odd, I've been finding myself uh, more often than not, usually instead of playing on my kitchen uh, tabletop area, I actually go outside, pull up the Game Anywhere table, and start playing on that, just because I enjoy the feel of it. I enjoy being able to put my drinks on, all that kind of stuff like that, and also the player boards, which just makes me very, very excited to have something like this. Uh, so this table is very, very good. There's not a lot of negative things I can say about it other than just the weight. Um, I don't know about how long it's, it's how long it would last or anything about the materials. I'm not somebody that would know about how long speed class lasts or if you want to have it in the elements. I imagine you could leave it out out for a while, uh, specifically a day, but I wouldn't have it in the rain. I wouldn't have it anywhere that's going to get the table messed up. It is still an elegant type of you know, piece of furniture, and it is a nice quality. So yeah, there is that. Uh, it is metal, so the pieces on the bottom, it's, it's none of this is like really plasticky, other than I think maybe a hard plastic for the uh, for the magnetized player board pieces accessories. They're very, it's very hard plastic though, so I wouldn't worry about that either. But it is metal, so you know, it, it, be careful when you're setting it up, putting it together, and don't hurt yourself or anything like that. But nevertheless, a very very solid table, really really enjoyable. I liked every aspect of it. So the difference is between the three tables, right? You have something like the Game Anywhere table, a basic, very very basic table you can get anywhere in a convenience store, and then you have something like the Ultimate Gaming table, which is another uh, table I was looking at. The uh, Ultimate Gaming Table, it looks a little more elegant than this one, obviously. It is definitely heavier and something that once you put in place, you're not going to want to move it a lot. But it does have a lot of custom, custom, custom ability as far as how it looks, the appearance of it. Uh, it's, and I think it has a bunch of accessories as well, just like this one does. This one, however, what it lacks in like elegance as far as like the you know quality of like the so I think that most of those tables like the geek chic tables and all that kind of stuff they have like uh, wood uh, carvings like laser cut, cut stuff like that this one has that carry a bit the carrying aspect of it taking it anywhere you want to play it which is by far an excellent thing to have I would suggest that they make it lighter but otherwise it is very very solid for what it is and I think the price is worth it if you have the money to dump down on it I would definitely get this table it would just compare it would just be based on do you want to have a game room specifically set up for a table I would go for something if you thought if you have the money to get anything you want right you would get either I would go for the, the big elegant one if you have just a specific game room and you're never going to move it however However, if you have a smaller space like I do, I have a very small space. This is my specific game room. Outside of you there is my little patio, and then my apartment is basically the same size as but both of these put together, maybe a little larger. So that table is going to be used quite a bit, and we do use it for testing and playing games, and we will be using it for walkthroughs as well, because it's very nice, it looks nice, and I just really, really appreciate uh, the time and effort. You can tell there was a project made with love. So that being said, I'm going to give the table 8.5 out of 10 maybe even a 9 if it was a little less heavy I'd probably give it a 9 I think but I think an 8.5 is where I would label the table as all over overall an excellent table I'm going to be using it for many many years to come um, unless I get even better tables who, who knows they get they said even their newer stuff speaking of which the newer stuff their newest table which is on current currently on Kickstarter is really cool looking it has this modular design where it 
places it, you can like take it apart and put it back together and add more tables to it and all that kind of stuff and it has that like metallic locking system which they use in like industrial machinery i've never seen it done before it's very very innovative how you can put them all together and that kind of stuff uh, maybe you have one of your tables your friend has one of his and then you put those tables together oh i dropped this sorry <laughs> but yeah as you put them together it's it's really cool they have and there's just a lot of different features i'll go ahead and have it running over here so you can see the different features of this new table when i first saw it, i was like "Ooh, that's really nice Ooh, this is nice you know this one and this and then finally the very the, this one is super so i'm really interested to see how the design works if it all comes to fruition i think this is gonna be the table that i would purchase even over a stationary elegant table even for a main game room just because of how big you can make it how awesome you can have it i mean those tables once they're built that's it that's their size so even if you could fit eight people that might not be enough for some people some people might want to play 12 players and there are games in which you can play 12 players if you want to play a game of werewolf right Nevertheless, though, Transforming Designs did an excellent job on this table, and I'm very, very happy to own one of my own. If you are interested in checking out the Game Anywhere table and any of their table designs, I think they have three currently, they might even have four, you can go ahead and go in the description below and check out the table, as well as all of the accessories. Uh, for me, I'm one of those people where the more accessories, the better. I get very excited about having all the different little unique things I can add to the tabletop. They're not necessarily needed, but really none of this is needed, right? This is all kind of things you want to get because you enjoy gaming and you want a more, you want a more uh, nerdy environment when you're playing games. And there's nothing wrong with that because I certainly do myself as well. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this review. And if you like this, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, as well as to go ahead and checking out Transforming Designs, the Game Anywhere table, which is currently up. They've already had one successful Kickstarter, which is not surprising at all. And now they're doing their brand new table. However, the older tables are still available for you to get. I do suggest at least the 4x4, the one I've had my experiences with as well. So do go ahead and check that out. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. And once again, as always, I look forward to seeing you next time.